Okay, so I thought I would do a quick video about how to use Chronometer. It's a really helpful site. It's free. Um, whether you want to do a high-carb vegan diet like me or just whatever kind of diet you're on, I highly recommend it not for minimizing your calories, but to make sure you're getting enough of the nutrients. It breaks down all of your vitamins and minerals for you. So go to chronometer.com and you can set up a free profile and I'm just going to put in my food for today to show you guys how it works. Okay, so you go to add food once you have a profile. Add food. The first thing I'm going to do, it's not the first thing I eat every day, but I eat it every day as a food vitamin, as a Brazil nut. So type in, oops, doing it one handed, it's weird. Brazil nut, here we go, unsalted. Um, I get raw ones at Winco for pretty cheap. And I just have one. So one nut has 31 calories, 0.7 grams protein, 0.6 grams carbs, 3.1 grams fat. And I just have one, so I add that. And I wanted to do that one first so you can see all the great things that are in this beauty. Basically, I eat it for the psyllium. It has 165% of all the psyllium that I need. And psyllium on a low-fat vegan diet can be a little bit hard to come by. So instead of taking pills for it, I eat a Brazil nut. And it's got a little bit of some other vitamins, and that's all good. And it's got some healthy fat and all of that. But mostly, I just take it for the psyllium power. Yeah. So, I have that. What did I have for breakfast today? Oh yes, I had Data Raid, which I was excited about. I managed to make it without a high-speed blender today, which was pretty exciting. So, dates. Um, and Medjool dates are super good, but they're more expensive for us, for where we get them. So we just get kind of just a generic, smaller date. And my Data Raid had, I think... 20 dates in it. Yeah. So you go down here and type in how many you ate for the serving. So then add that. And I had, I think, about six cups of water in that bad boy. So I add my water. And then I had about half that smoothie, and I was really wishing I had some bananas, because I love bananas. So I went ahead and added four bananas to my Datorade. So, bananas. See, I just have to type in raw. I just have to type in the word B, and it knows that I want bananas, because I eat a lot of bananas. And I don't even do this every day, just... I, st I did more when I was first starting out to kind of gauge how much I was eating and to get used to how much I needed to eat. But now I have a pretty good idea. So that was my breakfast. Oh, before I had breakfast, I had probably eh, two or three cups of water. We'll say two, so I'm not not having enough. Oh, whoops. Not bananas, water. Mm. Two cups of water. So before breakfast, I've already had 84% of what meter thinks I need to drink for water. I'll drink a lot more water than that because water is the bomb. It's good for you. Okay, for lunch, ooh, I had homemade vegan raw ice cream. It's delicious. Banana strawberry swirl with date sauce. So I had bananas. I had eight bananas in it. Ooh, because I like my carbs. I like my fruit. Fruit is good for your tummy. So I had eight medium bananas or so. Add that. And then I had it was probably two to three cups of strawberries. And it doesn't actually distinguish between raw and frozen. They were frozen, but as far as calories go, they'll be the same. So come down here. Um, I can't remember if it was 2 or 3, we'll say 2.5, I didn't actually measure, 
strawberries don't have a lot of calories but they have a lot of nutrients and a lot of yummy flavor and how you make the ice cream it's really easy you just take frozen bananas and you blend them up in the blender I don't have a very high power blender so I have to add a little bit of water um, to get the blender going but you add as little water as you can so it'll be really thick and yummy between the strawberries and the bananas and the dates I probably had another cup of water so add that then so you blend up the bananas put it in a bowl blend up the strawberries and then swirl that into the banana mixture and then the caramel date sauce is so so good you just take dates and water blend it up into a paste and put that on top um, I made a sauce with 20 dates, but I only used about half the sauce. The rest I'll probably use tomorrow, so we'll say 10 dates. And I just put that on top and eat it in a huge bowl, and it's just delicious. So good. So then, I had probably about two more cups with lunch of water. I like to drink a lot of water, stay hydrated. I pee a lot, but it's good. It tells me that I'm hydrated. <laughs> Um, dinner. Oh, yes, for dinner I had leftover curry. So I had rice, rice, and it was a long grain cooked white rice. Um, it's not enriched, but calories wise, it's going to be the same. No, well, let me see if I can find actual. Let's see. What? I don't want to say it was enriched when it's not, because that'll change the nutrients. White rice, steamed rice, cooked rice flour. Let me scroll down and see if I can find the exact kind. Rice, white, medium grain, cooked. Here we go. Ooh, that's the kind of rice I have. And I had... How much did I have? I had... Two, three, three. I had three and a half cups. Woo! <laughs> Yay, carbs. I love that about this lifestyle that I get to eat abundantly from yummy, healthy, fresh foods. Not that white rice is the healthiest. It's not. I'm not saying it is. But it's got the carbs that I need. So I like it. And with the curry, I had... There was a curry I made the other day that was really good. It was a cauliflower potato-based curry about two cups of it. The main ingredients are cauliflower and potatoes, so we'll say potatoes. Potatoes. There we go. And we'll say I had, does it let me do it by the cup? Let's see. Doesn't have it by the cup, so we'll say about one small. It's about how much was in the curry that I, the amount of curry that I had. So we'll add the potato and add cauliflower. Also had a lot of yummy stuff that doesn't have really any um, calories, hardly at all, like onions and garlic and cumin and curry and turmeric and all kinds of yummy spices I had so servings half a cup so I had a cup so that's two see cauliflower has like no calories it's like 30 calories but it's full of good stuff for you super good for trying to prevent cancer and all kinds of yummy stuff um, so I have my chronometer set up to have the graph is what I really look at um, and I have it set for the goal to be about 80-10-10, so 80% carbs, which I actually went over today, but that's fine. 80 to 95 actually is really my range that I try to get into. So I have 91.5% carbs, 5.2% protein, and 3.3% fat, which is really exactly where I want to be for an 80-10-10 high carb, high raw, raw till 4 kind of a lifestyle. So I ate all of that today. That was a lot of food. Oh, plus I'll have some more water tonight even, but I've I've had more than enough water to be okay for today. I've had 
you know, quite a lot of water. Um, and also I'm eating a lot of really high water food contents, all the fruit. Um, this actually calculates the water that's in your fruit too and adds that. So that's good. So let's look how I did nutritionally today. And this is just a random day. I didn't plan a specifically healthy day or anything. Um, so I have 3,018 calories today. Um, that's totally normal for me. I'm, I have it set up that I have to get at least 2,500 2, calories. So that's why it says I'm over because I had more than that. But I'm fine with that as long as that's like my minimum. I have to have a minimum. And then I eat as much as I want. Today that's how much I ate. Um, I'm super full right now, but if I'm still hungry in a half hour or so, I might have some more curry and rice even. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, you don't have to be afraid to eat. I'm eating all this, and I'm still losing weight and feeling awesome. So definitely drink a lot of water. I know I need to drink some more water today. I haven't drinking a whole lot today. So I'll drink quite a bit more water this evening. So carbs. I've had a lot of carbs today, but I like carbs. Carbs are what my body runs off of, it's what my brain eats and it makes me happy. So fiber, 69.5 grams of fiber. For me that's actually kind of a low day for fiber. Normally I try to get around 100 grams. Um, according to the FDA, I'm way over, but historically for all those people that are into the paleo diet, like our ancestors came from a background of eating at least 100 grams of fiber a day because they were eating tons of fruit and veg. So that's where that comes from. So for me, that's actually kind of a low day for fiber. So I've had a lot of carbs, but I like that. Um, it breaks down your starch, your sugars, fructose, um, glucose, the different kinds. A lot of them, they don't have any kind of targets to, to, for the FDA. It doesn't have a target of how much, but you can keep track of it here if you want. I mainly just look at the carbs and the fiber in this category. Moving on down to fats, so I've had 11.9 grams of fat today, um, so that's that's fine. It's I like to keep it low in fat. That's pretty low in fat for me. Um, my biggest thing is I don't ever go over 10% fat, so I'm only 3.3% fat today, so that's totally fine. Um, I could have had some more fat. I don't really feel like I need any more fat. I am super satisfied with the, really the only fat, high fat content I had was the one nut today. That was it. Um, if I wanted to, I could go have, you know, half an avocado later if I get hungry. I probably won't, but I could. Um, so it's got, that's healthy plant fats there. It's got, I got most of my omega-3. A little low on omega-6, um, not very much saturated fat, but I'm happy about that. I don't want to eat saturated fat. I don't want to clog my arteries, thank you. Um, zero trans fat, which is awesome. No cholesterol. This is good stuff here. So yeah, um, I didn't quite get all of the fat that I probably should have for today. Um, looking back, maybe I could have added some flaxseed to one of my sm my smoothie or my um, my ice cream bowl. I added some flaxseed or some hemp seed, and then that would have totally taken care of that. So this really helps using the site helps you see where you can improve on. So now I know tomorrow I should add a little bit of seeds to my day. That'd be good. I like seeds. I love hemp seeds. They're quite tasty. So protein. People always worry on a vegan diet or when they hear you're vegan that you won't get enough protein. But I had 44.5 grams of protein today. And I didn't even eat any greens today. That's usually where I got my protein. That was just from just fruits. It adds up eating all that fruit. Just from fruits and potatoes and yeah, rice and it just adds up. I actually have more protein than is required for a woman my size. So that's totally good. Like that's a totally good amount of protein and if you look it's got all the different kinds of protein so let's start here there's I actually like to look at all of them but we'll just go over the essential ones and I don't super know how to say all of these but cysteine 
Um, I have over 200% of how much of that kind of protein I need in a day. Um, histidine, I have 206%, so I'm like way covered. Um, isolectine, 88%, so that's pretty close, but still, I got really close to getting that. And we have leucine, leucine. 90%. Again, I have almost all of it. And this was without even trying. I didn't eat any protein-rich foods today. This was just a random day. I thought it'd be a good idea to show you guys this cool website. Um, Lysine, 74%. I'm a little low, but that's the lowest one that I am on my proteins for today. Um, methionine, 80%. Phenylacelin line? I don't know how to say that whatever, but I have 189%, so that's totally, totally taken care of. Three and I, throwing fine, three and, whatever this is, this kind of protein, I have 107%, and as the list goes down, 132%, 88%, and 100%. So you can get plenty of high quality protein on a vegan diet. And again, this was without trying at all. I didn't eat any high protein foods today. I wasn't trying to have a healthy day, I was just eating what was ever was in the house, trying to get rid of some stuff that was going bad. Um, so now let's go over to vitamins. B1, over 100%, 171%. We have B12, which there's not a way for this website to really register, to track, um, because food varies so much. I know people worry a lot about B12 on a vegan diet. But actually, meat eaters are very prone to B12 deficiencies. It's not, B12 comes from dirt. It doesn't come from meat or from plants. It comes from dirt. So you can get the dirt on your veggies or in your apples, or you can get it in animals that are eating from nature. But the thing is, with our current, with our current farming practices, most animals aren't getting the B12 from the dirt anyway because they're not eating out in the fields and even the ones that are the earth is becoming deficient in B12 the dirt because we don't farm in a way that preserves the B12 in the in the dirt basically so B12 whether you're a meat eater or a vegan is a good idea to get checked out and maybe supplement if you need to B2 135% B3, 201%. B5, 206%. B6, 505%. Um, I have a mineral here that I'm a little low on, 57%. So I usually get more of that from eating more green veggies. And I didn't actually have any green veggies today. So that's a little low, but usually I'm up in the hundreds, so that's okay. Folate. That's another one that people really worry about because I'm a 24-year-old woman, so I'm what you would call in, you know, fertile years, so folate is very important to keep all my systems moving properly, but I got plenty. I have 225% of how much my body needs in a day. Vitamin A is low today, only 7%, but I usually eat so many carrots. I usually eat at least like 10 big carrots a day, so I usually almost every day have like way over like 500% of vitamin A, so I'm not going to worry about that, but vitamin A, there's a lot of vitamin A in carrots and apples and any kind of, basically in fruits and veggies, so lots of fruits and veggies, you generally get all the vitamin A you need. So vitamin C, again, didn't particularly try to get vitamin C rich foods today. 560%. I have plenty of vitamin C, and that's probably why I haven't gotten sick in the three months that I've been on this lifestyle, even though I used to be sick every other week. Yo, that's pretty cool. I don't get sick anymore, because I'm eating lots of vitamin C. So, vitamin E, again, a little low today, but usually it's not very low. I'm at 20% vitamin E, but... Again, usually I have more than that, so I don't really worry about it. Um, this is why it's good to check to at least a couple times a week, put in your food in here so you can see what things you're maybe getting low on so you can make sure to eat more foods that are rich in that vitamin. 
vitamin K, 47%. Um, that's probably something I should look into to see how much vitamin K I'm getting because that's not one I've ever really noticed before. Um, see what foods are rich in vitamin K that I can improve my diet with. Calcium, 54%. Usually that's a lot higher There's because uh, greens actually have quite a bit of calcium, so I usually get a lot of calcium. Basically both of these I usually get from my greens, and I just happen to not have any greens to eat today, but tomorrow I'll eat a really big salad to make up for it, so it'll be okay. <coughs> Sorry, man. I need to drink some more water. So way plenty of copper, 271%. Iron, that's another one people really worry about for vegans. I have 103%, and this is just a random day where I was eating what I had in my house, not particularly trying to eat healthy. Magnesium, 234%. Magnes, 488%. Phosphorus, 136%. Um, potassium, 174%. Helium, 296%. And again, that's from my Brazil nut supplement. I get a lot of that from. Sodium is low, but that's a good thing. I don't want a lot of sodium. It just puffs me out. Makes me look bloated. Zinc, 86%. Could have done a little bit better, but I know that I've cured my zinc deficiency because my nails are healthy now. So yeah. <coughs> Overall for the day. I've had I've had enough calories. I've had at least 2,500. I've had more than that, so that's good. I've had plenty of protein for the day. Lots of carbs, which is good, and a bit of fat. Um, I got 74% of my nutritional targets achieved, so I could have done a bit better, but again, this was just a random day of what I ate today, not trying to eat anything special, just what I ate today. So, that's what I ate, that's how you use chronometer, although you can also add in your exercise, I haven't been to the gym yet today, but I'm actually going after this video, and I'm going to do some weight weightlifting and I'm gonna do a light workout nothing too crazy and it already knows I'm gonna do 30 minutes add exercise so then it'll calculate that to telling you you can eat more food and all that um, always do a little bit of a warm up and a cool down so that'll equal about 20 minutes Add that, Whew. and I love to stretch, so I like to stretch after my workout. Stretching, we'll say probably 10 minutes. So then that tells you all the calories you're burning from what you're doing too, so that's cool. And you can use this to add your own recipes in it under foods. Um, you can create a new recipe and save it. So you can just say, oh, I had a fourth of my, you know, favorite kind of smoothie serving, serving or whatever recipe you have, and it will calculate all the nutrients for you. So yeah, that's Chronometer. I highly suggest using it. 100% free. Super awesome website. Hope you guys find it helpful. Have a great night. Bye, guys.